So I saw the TikTok video that went viral the other day about a vacation checklist that this guy uses, and I thought we could recreate it. It's not very difficult, but it will show you some pretty important key principles and uh, techniques that you can use in all of your Google spreadsheets. Let's start out with the basic framework. So what we have, we're just kind of copying what he's done on his video here and using that information, and I'll pull it into our sheet. But we've got this bag view this uh, column right over here in F, I wanna make this a named range. So to do that, we can do it a few different ways. I like using this named range box up here, and I'm just gonna say bags. So that's our named range bags. It's gonna be F, what, F3 through F15. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here in assign bags. Whoa, we don't need a thousand rows though. Let's, let's do this like a hundred rows. So I'm gonna select row 101. Control shift down, delete all those rows. We got a hundred, that's that's more reasonable. Now I'm gonna select B3 through B100 and we're gonna name this assigned. We're gonna do the same thing for items and control J is a shortcut to that name box. So we're gonna name that items and then packed. So these are gonna be our check, bo check boxes and we'll say packed right there. Now, easiest thing first, let's make some check boxes. There's a new shortcut to where you can do the at sign and start typing down drop downs. Select this as a component, new drop down, and it opens the data validation rules, which is ultimately where you can create drop downs. And we're gonna do a, um, not a drop down, but a check box, okay? And the check box, we need this to go all the way down to D100. So now we got check boxes in column D. Check that out. All right, let me reduce that size so it's manageable. And items, I'm gonna copy and paste those in just a second. The assigned bags though, we're gonna do another drop down, new drop down. And this time we want drop down from a range. So we actually named that range bags, and now it's gonna bring in everything that was in our bags range, so right here. Now this is good, because if you wanna add something like your pockets, then that's automatically, look, gonna get added to this data validation list. Now to get back into data validation for a cell, if we wanna make a change, because look, we don't want it just in B3, we want it in the whole column. We can go to data, data validation, and we can select this B3 range and now extend it down to B100. And that's going to have the drop down values for that whole range. We can also, while we're in here, let's just make these colored so that we have different colors on different bags. Okay, <laughs> we'll leave pockets in there. Now we've got the basic setup to where we can assign a bag for the item that we're about to bring in. I'm gonna grab the items that I already typed out and we'll bring in the first bit over here. Oops, and let me paste values only. Okay, good. So, get back to Google Sans, the font that I wanted. Now we've kind of got something looking close to what he had in the TikTok video but we're gonna add a few nice touches to it. So first of all, we need to get the percent packed. So let's talk about this huge formula that I'm pasting in right here. Let me show you that it works. So backpack view, we got two backpacks over here. If I click one, 50%. If I click the next one, 100%. So it does what we want it to. How is it doing it though? Well, we've got a huge, huge nested thing in here. We've got one if statement at the, at the start, if F3 is not equal to an empty string. So it's just looking to see if something is actually in F3, if it needs to count and uh, make a percentage on something. So if that's the case, then we move on. And then we handle errors next. Pause. Okay, if you're overwhelmed, don't be. I've got a link in the description below that will take you to the completed sheet that we're using here so you can walk through it at your own pace. While you're down there, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and unpause. So if there is an error in our statement here, we want to return empty strings. So that's what this empty string is. And then this empty string is if the very first if statement is not true. So those are not necessary. They just make things cleaner. And to me, they are necessary, actually. 
The meat and potatoes though is inside here. So you can see that from there to there that I've highlighted, we've got a count ifs statement. Let me capitalize that to make it look better. And then we've got divided by a count if statement. So what we're doing is we're summing up the number of checkboxes for each of the categories and then dividing it by the total amount of that category that's in column B. So if there's two backpacks, it's going to count two backpacks. And if only one of them is checked, then it's going to count one checked divided by two total. That's all this is doing. The fancy way it's doing it, or the, the way that it looks like it's fancy, is it's saying count ifs, and there's two criteria. So if packed is equal to true, so if there's a checkbox here, and assigned is equal to F3. So if the checkbox is right here, and the value in column B, backpack, is equal to the value we're measuring in bag view, uh, column F, then and only then will we proceed and count that value. So it's counting this one checkbox. And you can see if I click these checkboxes, you know, it's not counting these because they're on toiletry and on person. It's just counting that backpack. Okay, so we grab that amount, that one is the amount that we're getting there, and we divide it by another count if statement. And all we have to do here is count if assigned is equal to F3. So that's simply counting all of the values that are backpack over here in column B, or it's, it's going through all the values in column B and seeing if it's equal to backpack and counting them. That's how we get one divided by two. Okay, so I can drag this down, control D, and that pastes the formula all the way down this column. And you can see that the if statements are working. So there's an empty string here because I don't even have duffel entered over here. If I put duffel over here, well, now it'll pop in 0%. And then if I check the duffel, it'll be 100%. Last little touch that we want is let's highlight backpack and 50%. These uh, F3 through G3. Let's go to conditional formatting. And then we're going to do a custom formula is equals G3 equals one. So if G3 is one, that's what 100% is one, right? Then what I want to do is just make this gold and then the text will be kind of an off white. Let's see if that works. Backpack, let's check, check the other backpack. Okay, well, what happened here? So it's only doing F3 because we need to go back to conditional formatting and we need to go G3 and put the dollar sign right there. Now that locks the condition on the G column and we can go back in one more time and let's just go, this goes all the way down to G15 and let's go check that out. Yep, on person is 100%, duffel is 100%, we'll uncheck those, let's check toiletry bag, make it 100%, so now, if anything is checked 100%, it's going to go uh, nice and gold on us. Let's do a couple other house cleaning things. Let's turn off grid lines so it's nice and good looking. And then let's do one more thing as we're checking. Let's do another conditional format to make a line through these items. So we're going to do custom formula is equal D3. And that's all that we have to do because if it's equal D3, then that means it is true and checked. We're going to go nothing to the background, just a line through. So now, boom. If I check that, it turns on and off. And the only other thing that we do want to do is let's apply this to C100. And then we'll lock in D3. And now we should see anything that we check. The line will go through it, and there we go. Okay, let me paste in just to get some more values over there, and we can just see some more things at work here. Just check everything. Yeah, so it is all working. Only thing we don't have is something in our pockets. Let's put something in our pockets, shall we? Money! And there we go. The other thing that you can do is you can filter these items. So you can go to data, create a filter, 
And now if you just wanted to see all your backpack items, you could clear this and you could say backpack and it would bring up only the backpack items. The thing you want to be aware of and watch out for, though, is when you do that, you are actually reducing the values over here because some of these in our bag view and percent packed little graph, these are on the lines that you're hiding. So now we can't see some of those. Um, so just be aware of that. If you do have some filters and you see things disappear over there, that is why. So let me do that. Now we've got them, all of them back. If this was helpful for you, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. You can check this video out next on how to create a light box inside of your Google Sheet. That's where you click on an image and it gets bigger like a little light box on a website. I've got a little workaround using zero code and then I've got a little automation using a little bit of app script. Walk through both of them in that video. Hope you have a great one. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next and goodbye.